And now it's time for news. <laughs> hey, apparently it was time. The United time. Kingdom, meanwhile, very serious news. We're gonna get serious here. Has uh, banned virginity testing and hymen repair surgery. So there's an amendment that has been added to a health and care bill on Monday that will make it illegal to perform any procedure that aims to reconstruct the hymen with or without consent. Dozens of clinics there in the UK, private hospitals as well as pharmacies have offered the controversial surgery with the promise of quote, restoring virginity with, with growing numbers of girls and young women coerced into undergoing the procedure. Scar tissue is used to construct a fake hymen with the aim of making a girl or woman bleed when she next has intercourse. And so that now will be formally banned. That does not mean that the procedure will still not happen in some cases. Because families, well, as we'll get into, are going to be pushing for that in some cases. But anyway, Viviana, what do you think about this in the UK? Uh, I'm glad that they are banning it, but I am a rare person in the US who also is not a fan of circumcision. So this is one of those things where I feel like we need to live, leave little kids' bodies alone. Uh, women, this whole, first of all, not every woman bleeds the first time they have sex. That's so ridiculous, it's a misnomer makes no sense and there are some societies and cultures that perform female circumcision for this very purpose as well to sort of make the opening of the vagina smaller so that it rips during intercourse or that and in some cultures the man will rip it open with a sharp nail that he grows before consummation i mean this is very it has a lot of really deep weird stuff that's going on with this. Um, it's kind of ironic that we're talking about this and they're doing these kinds of procedures to young women, but then that young woman in Florida can't have an abortion. Yeah, it's, it's just well, like, it, this is where we are in the world right now. Exactly, someone in the chat I saw flash by says, uh, men can only get a circumcision if they have a 3.5 GPA. Yeah. That would be the American version. Um, yeah, and look, obviously this is complicated. At one day old. And Exactly. There's, uh, you know, there, there, as you were just alluding to, there are variations on this practice in many different places. Culturally, it can be different from place to place. I am hardly an expert on that, but it it seems incredibly bizarre in 2022 that women are being forced to undergo this. And then look, they use the word consent in some cases. And I'm not. I don't know. I'm not an expert. This is not up to me. It is entirely possible that some people totally consent to it in every meaning of the word, but there are a lot of people who do not. I mean, if you there can be forms of consent, but yeah, it is. It is. Let's give the example because my producer has made the text very, very large. Hafsa is an individual who didn't want to be known by her real name. Says in her 30s, she was raped as a child. Afterwards, her Kurdish parents became obsessed with the idea of presenting her as pure on her wedding night, and her father told her there was a surgery that would quote fix her shame. She, Hafsa says, I told them I didn't want the surgery, but for more than a year, they used emotional blackmail to try to persuade me. If hymenoplasty had been illegal when I was a teenager, it would have saved me a lot of emotional abuse. I'm sure it will be a great comfort to vulnerable girls in a similar position to know that the law is on their side. It could give them the strength to stand up for themselves. And so look, I, I don't know the life experiences of everybody. One of the reasons that we, we look for and do uh, meanwhile in is because I want to understand more and it's difficult. American media is very American centric. Um, and so I would love to interview someone to talk more about this, but there's definitely a large component of family pressure, societal pressure uh, that, that can really do some damage. There is a lot of tie worldwide to um, innocence and purity and virginity for women. And it's, you know, we go back to women having control of their own bodies. It really is the end of the day. And and what this woman is saying is that even though as an adult, she was being pressured by her family, which happens, you know. Yeah. Um, and, and some people, if you look into um, circumcision, there was actually female circumcision that was done here in the US for many, many years. And it was even in the, like, the pediatric guide like how to show physicians how to do it properly, how to, they called it a nick of the, mm -hmm. of the, of the clitoris. And that was done to sort of reduce pleasure. I, I'm not exactly sure what the psychopathic thoughts are behind it, but we really need it to start comes down to that. empowering women with their own bodies. I mean, worldwide, this, this, this is, needs to be a norm. We need to stop saying you're not pure if you're raped you're not, or if you had sex before you were a certain age or before you were married. 
it's not tied to who we are and our identities and we need to erase that. That's it's going to take a long time coming because it's very tied into our cultures, a lot of people's families. Uh, so this is a step in the UK. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of pushback from other cultural groups. They're like, oh, well, we need to protect our girls, thinking that this somehow is protecting them. Exactly. Yeah. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.